I will land on the lake. Uh, we're here with Last FM um, at Scarlet in London. Kingdom was one that we um, came up with quite a long time ago. I think Last FM was um, a place actually where we start, started to kind of give away a lot of music and stuff. And I think we kind of built a little uh, fan, fan base through Last FM. And one of those songs was um, A Kingdom and it was an earlier sort of demo version that we had. I think the words probably come from um, a book that I had that my granddad gave me. And it was a collection of letters that soldiers in World War II had like written home, and it was their last letters home. Um, so that's where that first line comes from. Leave me to write my last letter home. It's it's kind of like a mixture of nerves and excitement. Um, for us, we get a lot out of playing live for people, especially in places that you know we don't usually get to go to. Um, and this time round, we've got loads of new songs that we're playing, so. We're on one hand really excited to go out and play those new songs with people, but on the other hand, like it, it is a bit scary when you when you're playing um, a gig and you haven't played live for a long time and you're playing new stuff. That can be quite nerve wracking. But overall, I think we're really looking forward to it. We, we played a place in Amsterdam called Vandalkirk, which was a really beautiful church. Um, and we're sort of in the middle of this gig playing it and looking out there, you just thought, wow. How, how did I get to be like in Amsterdam playing in this church? It's really cool. The new album is coming out in September, September the 9th. It's called Until the Colours Run. And it took quite a while to, to make, quite a few months to write it. Um, we, sort of, we were getting quite frustrated because we were playing live quite a lot and um, missed the whole like creative side to being in a band. So we just decided to knock gigs on the head for a while and spent a, a good few months just writing and working on demos and it was a really kind of creative time for us I think. We did it in a slightly different way this time I think we like for the first time ever we got to like spend like work on music full time and we went into the rehearsal room just like the five of us and just day in day out we we're just writing music playing music together like coming up with the songs for the album and we've never really worked like that before um, so it was kind of like a really intense way for us to write the album um, the previous album we tend to write bits and, and then send it around between us and like come up with parts individually before we ever played it together and we did it the opposite way around this time and I think um, because of that it sounds quite different I think it's uh, it's kind of quite a lot more energetic. It's uh, um, it's got a lot of that kind of energy that we have in the practice room together, um, and uh, we've kind of managed to translate that. I hope into into the music, and I think I think we're sort of really excited about people being able to hear that. There's quite a lot of well, there's loads of really good bands and musicians in the northeast generally at the moment, and um, quite a healthy music scene going on. Uh, Sunderland and Newcastle, I think. That, well, there's a guy called Adjamal. Um, well, his name's Fran or Handlin, but he calls himself Ajamal and um, he writes some really beautiful music, really good song right there, and he's supporting us at the Sage this week on Friday. Um, there's Tesserus guys who are from Newcastle as well, I think. Yeah. Um, Paul, who's our guitarist and producer, has done a bit of um, recording work with them recently, and they're quite interesting, they're doing some good stuff. Funky and the Heartstrings are doing something really interesting with their opening record shop in the Sunday, I think, and getting like, a lot of bands to sort of go and play in that. And it was just sort of doing something slightly different, um, sort of trying to uh, move the the sort of music industry in the northeast in a slightly different direction and, and giving it a focus in in Sunderland. I think that's a really interesting idea.